Hey guys, my name is Mike. I'm the marketing manager here at Benchmark Tool and Supply. Today I've got Amber with me. She is our drone sales and field trainer. Uh, we're going to be going over two new DJI sensors that they released today. It's the DJI P1 and the DJI L1. So Amber, what can you tell us about the new DJI P1? So the DJI Zamus P1 and L1, they were soft released today. We're going to start taking orders for them later this year. And then the beginning of 2021 is when they should ship. We'll start with the P1. So it is a 45 megapixel camera. It hooks up to the M300 RTK. It's the first mapping um, and serving solution for that drone. So I know many of you are super excited about that. It also has a 0.7 second um, time interval and it has three lens options to choose from. So what are the three different lenses you can get? So the three different lens options you can get are the 24 millimeter, the 35 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter. And what that does is it helps you fly a little bit higher to get a great uh, ground sampling distance. So these sensors are specifically for the 300, right? Correct. Awesome, so what are the benefits of using these versus like a P4 RTK or 210 RTK? So the Phantom 4 RTK and the Matrice 210 RTK are both great aircrafts. Um, with the M300 RTK though, you're increasing your battery life, you're increasing your quality of image with the 45 megapixel camera, um, and you're also being able to integrate with a LiDAR camera and then use these um, images to integrate into DJI Terra. So the P1, uh, which we talked about, is an RGB sensor, right? Correct. So what is the L1? How is that different from the P1? So the L1 is your LiDAR sensor. So this is supposed to be a cost-effective option for LiDAR now. It integrates right on the M300, just like the P1 camera would. So you can use both the P1 and the L1 to get orthomosaic and then use the LiDAR to get underneath that uh, tree canopy, which the RGB cameras can't penetrate. It's a one inch CMOS, um, it's a mechanical shutter, and it has the same camera specs as the Phantom 4 RTK. What's really cool is while you're flying, you can get a live view of your mapping. Um, I know right now using um, Terra with your Phantom 4, you can also get a live view. So it's gonna be really similar, um, but just with LiDAR. Awesome, so you can see in real time, if you say you're missing a spot, you need to go back and rescan or there's an area that maybe you need to refocus on more, you can see that as it's, as it's scanning? Absolutely. What does this mean for the end user, having more quality and more efficiency? That just saves you a lot of time, of, a lot of time period and a lot of footwork. Um, and it is able to integrate in just this one drone instead of getting a larger drone, a different camera. It's like an all-in-one solution for someone. Um, you can get your RGB images stitched together, your orthomosaic, and then if you have tree coverage that you need to penetrate, um, you also can fly the LiDAR and get that. So you're able to solve all solutions, and this is going to be um, a cost-efficient option versus what's out there right now. When can customers expect to see this uh, for pre-order and what they do pre-order it, when can they actually get their hands on it? Yeah, absolutely. Feel free to reach out to me now if you have any questions. Um, I can start taking orders the end of this year. I'll have Mike release that um, information when we're able to take these orders. And then as soon as we take pre-orders, um, you're already in line to receive this beginning of 2021. Awesome. Thanks for checking in guys, certainly appreciate it. Um, feel free to give us a follow on social media. Like I said, if you have any questions or need to get a demo or a quote, or just have any, like I said, general questions, um, feel free to chat to us at the run screen. Amber, thank you so much for joining, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course.